In this video, we go hands-on with Apple's new Lightning to USB 3 camera adapter, and I think you might like what we find. Apple's new Lightning to USB 3 camera adapter was specifically made with the 12.9 inch iPad Pro in mind because as its name states, it supports USB 3. Now, unfortunately, the 12.9 inch iPad Pro is the only iPad that supports USB 3 transfer speeds, but that doesn't mean that this adapter is not useful with other iOS hardware. As you can see on the bottom, there are actually two ports, one a USB port and the other the lightning port. Now that lightning port is really the key here because it allows you to apply power to this adapter unlike the old adapter which just had the USB port. Now, what does this mean? Well, it means the new adapter can handle a whole host of USB devices, whereas the old adapter was severely limited when connecting devices. So you can see right there, cannot use this device, the connected device requires what? Too much power. So that is where the new lightning to USB 3 camera adapter comes in because it actually has power. You can plug a lightning cable into the new adapter to power that adapter and make it work with all sorts of USB devices. So you can see here that this Shure microphone will not work at all using the standard lightning to USB camera adapter. But watch what happens when I plug it in using the new adapter and then I apply power to that new adapter using the lightning cable that's plugged into the wall. So you can see right here, bam, see that little green light comes on because yes, it's working folks. This microphone now works with my iPad thanks to this powered adapter. You see right there, Shure MV5 works beautifully, but there's more, there's a surprise. Yes, indeed it works with the iPhone. Now, Apple does not officially support the iPhone using the lightning to USB 3 camera adapter. And in fact, you will still get a little error message pop up when you plug it in, but it disappears and then it just starts working. See that, see the little light? Yep, you see it's recognized. So it works, which really it should anyway, because the old adapter works with iPhone. So anyway, all right, so I'm gonna do a test. This is actually a speed test, transferring about 4.1 gigabytes of video to my iPhone. And this iPhone, of course, is USB 2 only. So what I'm trying to illustrate here is the difference between USB 2 and USB 3. With USB 2, it's gonna take a little longer to transfer all these files over to my iPhone, so you see, about two minutes, 31 seconds. Now let's try it on the iPad Pro, the 12.9 inch model. This model, of course, features USB 3, as does the new Lightning to USB 3 camera adapter. So this is a good test, good comparison. So let's see how much faster this is. All right, so we are done. So as you can see, it's faster. It's not blow you away, knock your socks off faster, but it is indeed faster. And if you do a lot of video and photo transfer, it can save you some serious time. So if you're a 12.9 inch iPad Pro owner, or if you're a podcaster or work with other types of MIDI devices, then you should add this $39 adapter to your repertoire. So ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think in the comment section. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.